knows, I'm on my way home from work and there was some really severe overdevelopment right over my place here. Went inside, changed clothes, came back out, and it's long gone. There's some remnants of it back here in the background. Yeah, it's just something about the sky I don't like. They were predicting scattered thunderstorms. I haven't looked at the radar or anything. I'm just telling you what I'm getting from a visual perspective. I uh, thought I might do a video on the camera gear that I use. Just kind of throw out a quickie there for you. So, it's some chores today and I may just stay grounded voluntarily. It doesn't happen often, but hey, priorities. I plan on flying several days out there at that foot drag. So these are my two helmet cams. This one I got set up for free flight. I just got one of these twisty things. I put, I clipped the mic on there. The mic is just a, uh, it's just a little lapel mic. Just something, something just like this right here. And I just clip it onto the, uh, the boom. I use a little piece of tape to form a windscreen to keep the wind from blowing into the mic so hard. And uh, this helmet, of course, has a boom on it. I had to make one for this helmet. This is my free flight helmet, my hot weather helmet, whatever you call it. If I want to be able to hear this one, it, oh, excuse me. This one has good hearing protection. This one, not so much. And also sport an extra battery. I'm sure anybody that's ever used a GoPro knows that GoPros do not have the best track record as far as battery life. I use a uh, use a little zip tie here, and I just Velcro an extra spare spare battery on the back of the helmet, and I'll mount the GoPro onto the helmet, and that's that. I plug in the mic, and then I plug in the spare battery with that cord, and that's it. So this is uh this is what my B cam setup looks like. Again, I've got a spare battery that I hook onto the side of the leg here. It's just a little cheap $9, $9 tripod I got, uh, I think, off of Amazon.com, maybe. That's my two camera setups that I use to make these paramotor videos. And uh, about a $10 microphone that plugs into the side of the GoPro. Not much to it. I'm fit to get my gear together, and the next one you'll probably see will probably be the endless foot drag video. So stay tuned for that. Call out. Morning, y'all. I figured I'd just, since the last video was so short that I would make it a uh, two-dayer just to fill it in. Got all my crap ready for the uh, endless foot drag. Wow, I hear some crazy thunder outside. I mean, the sky doesn't really look that bad. This is uh, what we refer to as an embedded thunderstorm. That means that there's an overcast layer and you can't really see the sail but I can freaking hear it, man. It's rumbling like a beast. There's thunder coming from the north. There's thunder coming from the south as well. The winds seem to be smooth, but if there's a thunderstorm around, you got the possibility of gust fronts, and those are scary. And that gust fronts come through and blow shingles off the house. You don't want to be flying if that's the situation. The wind actually feels smooth, but it's deceiving y'all don't trust it so i'm really jonesing to take a flight it's been a week now since i flew and even longer since i've flown the motor <laughs> it never fails every time i've ever gotten a new wing or a demo wing or anything like that the weather turns to shit for about a solid week i've been sitting on top of this dudek colt 2 that i've been itching to fly so bad between work and weather i just have not had the opportunity yet i'm planning on bringing it over to the foot drag maybe get some mountain flying in while i'm there today is pack day i'm going to get together all the gear and be ready to go when tuesday rolls around and i scrape out of work and I imagine it's gonna be like pulling back a slingshot and letting it go. I'm just gonna bolt, man. I can't wait to get there. No. Oh, hey, Gizmo. What's up, man? Did you come to see me? And so I got this new inverter and I'm fixing to install it. And then I can run my DC power, like, you know, if I just wanna watch a movie or air up the air mattress or something without having to crank the generator. Let's see. Where's a good spot for this thing? Maybe right here? Yeah, I'm thinking right there. See what we're cooking with. It works. For now. <laughs> that was right. It looks like the uh it looks like the gust front is coming through. You can see it cranking the top of those trees and it got dark. It's alright. Take care of my uh my camper project here. I'm installing a uh 
saw a rug here on the back of the uh, on the back of the door. Just a piece of carpet here. I'm gonna screw this thing down. This old scrap that I had, and that's gonna be. Hey Gizmo, what are you doing? That's gonna be my new. Uh, you know, wipe my feet. Ready. That's all right. I'll get some flying in soon, I promise. Without the bad, there wouldn't be any good. You gotta remember that too. Got a new, uh, a new 10 USB charging port. Rigged up some electricity right here by the bed. I didn't have any plugs over here, so I routed in a little wire this way. And so that'll be good for there. Also run the air conditioner off of that unit. And uh, of course the window plugs. Keep it nice and insulated if I want it to stay cool or warm. I got my insulated plugs in the windows there I made. and my free flight harness. I'm going to uh, leave inside until it's time to go. Storage conditions are very important for your gliders. So it appears that the sky has settled down quite a bit, but it's a soup bowl. I may ride out to the airport and attempt to launch off of the uh, taxiway or something like that. Don't know, I'm really in a bind and need to fly. Yeah, yeah, this is butter sky I'm seeing. Looking good, I'm gonna go taste of that. yet hopefully it'll get here before the endless foot drag i just got a little battery operator when i could zip tie to the machine maybe my helmet i don't know let's go over here and mess around in this beacon field i like this place over here man look how wet everything is there is water everywhere you can see it in some places by these terraces but you know walking around it's just like squish 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 oh feels really good out here tonight wow Have I said woohoo yet? Woohoo! Ah, baby John. Where do I want to go now? There's Mike and Wanell's house. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Just realized I didn't do a pocket check. Ha! <laughs> Shit, it's what I get for rushing. So what if I got a liability of losing here? Let's see, there's a cigarette lighter and a pocket knife. I got my phone. And I got my wallet. <laughs> I think it'll all stay in there. We'll go do a flyby at a B cam. A B cam flyby. Woo, right over the trees. Lead off some altitude. What's up, B cam? Oh man, I really needed this, y'all. So good. Let these old trimmers out. I'm gonna go over here and do a flyby at my buddy Reagan's house. Let's see if we can stir them out of the house. Oh, I see somebody out in the yard there. How about that? Let's plot our course through the trees. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> See if I can find my work turbulence. Hey, my best friend back here, y'all, Mr. Reagan Nash. Love that guy. Pond I used to fish in when I was a kid down here. Mr. LeMay's pond. Oh, look, he's got some ducks. What up, ducks? These trees out here in this field, 
used to not be that big when I was a kid. There's my mom's house. Wonder if she's home. Let's see if we can spy her carport. Yep, she's home. This kid's on a motorbike. out down there in that yard. Really love these paramotors. Oh, something that I've been meaning to talk about is throttle type. There's uh, what I refer to as the uh, bicycle uh, bicycle throttle. And then there's also a pistol grip throttle where you, you squeeze your trigger finger on it like that. I like these throttles the best where you can get your pinky and your ring finger on the throttle. That way it leaves these fingers to do other stuff with, you know, manipulate controls or pockets. You know, I'm pulling a lot harder on these toggles than I am pushing the throttle. So I don't see why you want to use your strongest fingers to do that. And that leaves you with basically no fingers to do anything else with. Feels so dang good tonight, y'all. So dang good. Mr. Jones's house. Looks like nobody's home. Oh, I got an idea. Let's check for traffic and then foot drag the runway. I wonder if I could do it. Foot drag the whole length of the runway. Let's give it a shot without dropping anything out of my pockets. All right, we lined up. getting hot. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oops. Hey, there's a hawk. Red-tailed hawk. He's just checking me out. Let's go see what this hawk's doing. He was just chilling on telephone pole, watching me come by, man. I was like 30 feet from him. I soared with some hawks last weekend. There was five of them in the sky. And one of them was an angry mama hawk. And that sucker was coming at me. She's actually hit my glider in a previous season. I think she nests somewhere and we just call her mama hawk. Yeah, there's a hawk right there. They just do a downwind landing. Come on down, Wayne. Come on down. Fun times. Fun times. Got my hit. Got my hits. What I needed. Kyle needed a hit of some paramotor. Ow! So much fun with these things. Set it on there. All right, y'all. So the next thing that I'm going to do it's gonna be the endless foot drag and it's gonna be on like a chicken bone. On like a chicken bone. So I'm going to uh, pack my gear up, get it all squared away, and man, it's a beautiful evening. It makes me wanna go again, but I'm not. Well, I'm gonna get back to it. I will catch y'all on the flip side. Kyle out. <laughs>